Hello, I'm Farah from Planet IT. This video is intended to give you a very quick and simple overview of what to expect once you have voice behind Teams, for what we refer to as direct routing for Teams. One of the main differences you'll notice as soon as we've made the changes behind the scenes is that you will get a dial pad in the bottom left-hand corner, which means that you can now make external calls using this dial pad from Teams. Type in the telephone number and then click call and your call will be connected. In the top left-hand corner, under your calls header, you'll see you have speed dials. And these are shortcuts that I've created for ease of transfer through to colleagues within my organisation, but also will give me an indication of their status. The contacts here exchanges information directly with the Outlook contacts. So if you have a global directory, all of your staff contact numbers, suppliers, etc. will be visible within this pane. History will show you all call history, chat, meetings, etc. that you've participated in within Teams. And voicemail will show you any voicemail messages you've received and it will show you the name of the person, if that person's name was in the contacts, or the telephone number. It will also show you how long the message is, the date and time that the call was received. What I'm going to do now is to show you a call coming in and also transferring a call. So shortly a call will appear in the bottom right hand corner of my screen and then all I'm going to do is click the answer button to accept the call. Now I've answered the call, a call duration timer starts in the bottom left hand corner and I have a number of options. I can mute the call. I can open a keypad to transfer a call using a telephone number. Or if I click on this option here, I've got a number of telephony related options. I can place the call on hold and the caller is listening to restful music at this point or information on hold, depending on your preference. Click the resume button to bring the call back to me. have the option to transfer the call so I can click on transfer and then I can type in the name of the person I want to transfer to depending on how many users you have on this platform or I can select the person I want to transfer the call through to by a double click and it will transfer the call. So that's transferring a call and that's what we call a blind transfer so that's not announcing the call through to the individual. I'm now going to demonstrate a different type of transfer, which is where you've got the option to announce the call through to the person who the call is for. So I'm just making another call in. Some calls coming in. Click the call to answer again. I've got the option to park a call, which I'll go through in a moment, and then consult, then transfer. If I select this option and then choose who I wish to do this call with. It gives me the option to actually type in a message um, and then transfer the call. So I can say to James, it's urgent regarding an installation this week, so he's, he's pre-warned as to what the call content is regarding. If James decides he can't take the call, I can drop the call through to his work voicemail rather than dropping the call straight through to him and not giving him the option or him waiting a number of rings before the call then trips to voicemail. Teams would do a couple of comfort rings so the caller will be unaware that they're being called directly into voicemail. So I'm going to transfer that and hang up. Perfect. With regards to voicemail, to listen to a voicemail message, this is nice and straightforward. All I'm going to do is double click on here and then click on play. It will play the message to me. It can also transcribe the message for you, providing there aren't any strong accents. This is a work in progress. And then you have a number of options here. You can mark it as unread to flag up to go back to it at a later stage, delete, 
call it back, add it to your speed dials, add it to your contacts. So I'm going to delete that there. If we now go to speed dials, this is where you can customise Teams to reflect how you want to use it as an individual. So if you click on add speed dial, you simply add in the name and telephone number of the person, click add, and they will then appear in the screen here. If you like to add a new group, you can type in the group name that you require and then create. It will create the marketing option here and once you select it, you have three dots here where you can add contacts to that group. So you can then search and add a contact to that group. So rather than just ringing one individual, you can ring a group of people within your organisation. This brings me to the end of the very simple overview of direct routing for Teams. If you require any further assistance with any aspect of the operation, please don't hesitate to give me and my team a call on 01235 433 900. Thank you for choosing Planet IT.